just pulled off a of Camp Rock Road, going down Powerline Road toward Cougar Buttes. So it should be a fun day. Cougar Buttes always has uh, a little bit of something for everybody. Our first trail is going to be this one called Hammer Down. Really fun trail. Uh, today we're doing Hammer Down. It's my favorite trail at Cougar Buttes. Uh, not a lot of people know about it. Definitely a, a fun trail and um, pretty technical and, and can be a little scary. In the very beginning of the trail, uh, I guess it'd be called the Gatekeeper. It's pretty uh, off camber going through two large rocks. Kind of tough to get up in that spot, but once you're up in there, uh, you get off camber and a lot of uh, sawing on the on the steering wheel going back and forth just to make it through between the two big rocks. Because it's so tight in there, two doors I, I think are, are have a, an easier time. The, the four doors with enough lift and big enough tires, it, they get through okay. Um, I've seen a few four doors struggle getting through there just because of the wheelbase. The next obstacle is a, a big V-notch that you have to descend. It can be a little scary to the, you know, if you've never done it before. <laughs> that one actually is, is better for long wheelbase. Um, the short wheelbase vehicles tend to get, you know, three wheel action. Um, I've seen a couple get the, a rear tire three, you know, two, three feet up off the ground. Um, but but it's a little sketchy the first couple times you do it. It's 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 definitely a butt puckering moment. It's stuck. Turn your locker on. <laughs> it needs a locker downhill. Never seen it before. <laughs> the last couple feet of that V notch, it, it's especially on one side is, is almost vertical um so even down at the bottom spotting it, it just looks like the jeep's going to stand up on its end because like i said that last two feet is is darn near vertical There's an extra credit spot that a few of my buddies have gone up. I've never actually, I've tried it and, and couldn't make it up. So uh, it, it's pretty tough. It's it's pretty steep and really rocky. I'm not really sure if it's if it's even passable right now. Changed quite a bit since the last time I was here. It was always pretty tough, but now it looks a lot tougher. There's some rocks have moved out of the way and there's a big opening there that I just don't know if we can get over or not. Then the uh, next obstacle is a nice little rock climb. Uh, you got two big boulders you got to get up on and kind of swerve around. And then you have a, a ridge, a rock ridge you got to ride along and, and come down. Uh, that gets your attention just basically because you can't see a lot. So it's, it's more feel as you're driving down it. Um, get a little off camber. It, it feels like you might flop to the right, but uh, it's actually pretty stable. The rest of the trail is, is a bit of rocks, a bit of sand, a couple small hill climbs, one more V-notch. So when you come up and over that lip, your driver's side tire is going to tuck into your fender and to the rock, and your passenger side is going to come up and wave, and it's going to be off the ground, so you're going to three-wheel it. Oh! Solid. Let it fly. Let it fly. Straighten it 
If she could have seen that, she wouldn't have kept going. <laughs> We're going to be coming up to a v-notch that you got to make a sharp left hand turn entering it and uh, some of the vehicles i've seen come through tend to get their uh, front driver side tire pretty high up in the air coming down it it's just basically because you have to turn into the v-notch and come down at the same time and and as the jeep flexes it, it's going to pull it in different directions it's not going to go any higher randy Hold on. Now back it up, passenger. coming down it was going to be a left turn and an off camber downhill when I was going down um, the spotter decided to have me go up the rock with the uh, the passenger front tire now that side needs to start climbing okay. keep the drivers are coming up so that put me way up high the front uh, driver's tire was just in the air uh, and it didn't feel bad going forward and once he had me put it in reverse, that changed everything. At that point, I was just like, okay, is it going to stop? Is it going to keep going all the way over? I was like, okay, it's going farther down. And I guess I'm rolling. And I'm going to ride this out. I was in a very strange position. I, 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 it was weird. I didn't really know what position I was in. So I was able to uh, just get the seatbelt from wrapped around me. I got it off me and then I was able to use the steering wheel to step on out. 
and then I just jumped out. When you're rolling, it's it's unreal. You're, it's almost like, is this really happening? And then you come to a stop, and is my Jeep okay? It was a, in very strange position, and I knew it was going to take a very uh, coordinated and um, skillful recovery to get it back on its tires. They took over. They did an amazing job. Kyle, who uh, has done recoveries in the Army, it was uh, Sean and, uh, and Jeff Klinger, um, Jeff Kupke and uh, Mark. They all just got together as a team. They knew exactly what to do. We put two, three Jeeps on the high side and one Jeep on the low side. The one Jeep on the low side was there to pull it over. The three on the high side were there so it wouldn't flop really hard. So they had two inches on the Jeep on the high side. And as, as um, the low side Jeep pulled it over, those winches on the high side took over and, and just let out nice and easy to set it down smooth. And then we had a third Jeep on the high side holding one of the Jeeps so it wouldn't move forward. It was basically anchoring it. It was a very coordinated and very uh, well planned and executed the recovery. It was amazing. And they set it down very soft and avoided any other damage, avoided it rolling again and um, they were just really amazing at doing it. Just hooked a couple winch lines and, and a winch line on the other side and just good communication with our, our lead guy there and we were able to get them down slowly and safely. How does she look, Joe? I don't even really see any scratches. And uh, once it was sitting down on all four tires, I could see that it was just cosmetic. Dude, that's it? And it wasn't even that bad of a cosmetic damage. If the thing sits sideways or upside down for too long, the oil in the crankcase gets around the piston rings and gets inside the cylinder, inside the, where the pistons are, and it can hydro lock the engine. So you have to either let it drip down or take the spark plugs out and let it blow out that way to empty the combustion chamber so it doesn't lock up. If you didn't really scrutinize looking at it closely, at a glance, you wouldn't really even know it was damaged. I was able to drive it off the trail. We're all driving out of here in one piece, so it actually was a successful day. Nobody gets hurt.